Değerli misafirler, kıymetli vekillerimiz, haftalık olan Distinguished guests, distinguished members of the parliament, welcome all to the regular meeting that we are holding as the 26th government. With your permission, we would like to announce the names of the participants. Ankara İlgin Şikolları ve Kadın Kollarımız, hoş geldiniz, sefalar getiriniz. Altındağ Kadın Kollarımız, Haymana Kadın Kollarımız, there are various women's uh, groups and young, um, young people's groups from various cities. AKP young members groups from various cities. From Bolu, from Kırıkkale. We would like to once again welcome all our guests and would like to wish you all the best in this new term. Distinguished Prime Minister, esteemed members of the Parliament, AKP will start this new path and will continue to work for democracy, for national unity, and we would like to kindly invite our Prime Minister, distinguished Prime Minister, the floor is yours. Esteemed friends, distinguished citizens, I would like to greet you all with respect and with affection. 16th of April, Sixteenth of April was the day when we voted for a referendum, a presidential referendum, and this is the very first group meeting we are holding after the referendum on that date. I'd like to wish you a, a beneficial meeting. And on this occasion, I would like to refer to the new work to be conducted by the parliament. Hopefully, it will bring all the good to our country and to our people. Esteemed friends, our democracy has been once again once again proven itself how mature it is to the whole world on the 16th of April. In 81 different provinces and cities of Turkey, people voted and the participation rate has been uh, about 85 percent and citizens went to the poll stations, polling stations and made their preferences. We presented uh, ownership of our democracy, nearly 3 million citizens overseas and 81 million citizens uh, domestically. I would like to extend my gratitude to each and every one of them for their participation. 16th of April has once again underlined the great faith that our people have in democracy. For the first time on Sunday, 1,269,000 young people voted for the first time in this country, and I'd like to especially congratulate them. 
It has indeed been a democratic uh, referendum and uh, democratic maturity has once again been proven and a brand new page has been opened in our history of democracy. This new page and this new beginning will hopefully bring all the best and will offer a bright future to our politics, to our democracy. That I believe wholeheartedly. According to the uh, results, 80, uh, 58 million uh, plus registered citizens, 49 million 539,000 uh, people went to the polling stations and cast their uh, ballots. 85.9% has been the participation rate. It has been a record. So the constitutional package, the constitutional uh, reform package prepared by ourselves has thus been uh, voted and we are extremely happy to see this uh, result. This result that came out from the uh, poll, we can say that it is Turkey that won and it is the people of Turkey that won. There is no loser in this uh, referendum. This result is the beginning of a new term is the beginning of a new era. It is not only 25,154,000 people that supported the campaign. There are 23,754,000 citizens that voted no, and they also are among the winners as of April 16th, because it is Turkey that won, it is the nation that won, and our democracy has strengthened itself further on and we have gained even more power as a nation. As a result, 81.7 has been the rate of yes votes in Bayburt and 40, 40 plus percent of no's in Tunceli. Voters for yes and voters for no have all been among the winners. Today is a brand new day, and today is the day, and now is the time to renew ourselves. And as Rumi once said, all those words that were uttered yesterday are now left back in yesterday. Now is the time to say new things, my dear. Today, we as politicians have to turn our faces towards the future and utter new words. As of today, for our country and for our future, we have to say that our responsibility has increased even further on. And we are aware of the fact that we have to work even harder. There may be some rumors that try to uh, shadow the referendum results, but it's all in vain. Willpower of the people of this nation has been reflected uh, on the results and this has come to an end. Starting with the main opposition party and everyone else, all circles, all sections of the society have to respect these results. Taking the percentages of the votes as a starting point, it would not be right to utter words on top of the words uttered by the people. Yes, um, the yes votes and the no votes may be close to one another. There may be some circles that try to divide people of this nation, but we will not uh, play this game. We will all be in harmony. We will take steps towards the future for the same future. We will retain our democratic maturity and I also would like to once again extend my gratitude to all citizens of this country that have protected the democratic maturity. There are people living overseas and they are thousands of miles away from this country. However, they still feel ownership and hold ownership 
of the future of our country. I also would like to express my gratitude to them. Hopefully, God will protect our country, and hopefully, Turkey will continue to have a bright future and a um, bright path ahead of us. The presidential system. We believed in this system since from the beginning. This constitutional reform will be beneficial for our country, will be beneficial for our nation, and we kept on saying that this is going to be good for our nation. And our uh, vote and our decision is always for the yes. That's how we initiate our, initiated our campaign. The first uh, rally was on the 26th of February with the legendary, uh, with the legendary people of uh, Kazan, and then Cyprus, and then Germany. We came together with our people in these countries, and we told them the importance of this reform. In a matter of two months, months, 54 different cities have been uh, visited. And I also traveled overseas on two occasions to come together with various citizens living overseas. And in cities, major cities such as Istanbul, Izmir, Ankara, we came together with people of these cities. And in total, we held 71 rallies in different parts of our country. We went to different uh, parts of our country, and we hugged one another with the people of this country. On the one hand, we were working for this referendum, and on the other hand, we were working for the day-to-day uh, -day tasks that we had uh, as the government. We had uh, various inauguration ceremonies, 14 of them, and we hosted uh, some international guests as the government. We came together with non-governmental organ organizations, with opinion leaders and business people. We held 22 conferences with them in different parts of the city. In the east and in the southeast part of Turkey, we came together with opinion leaders and held beneficial uh, meetings. We also had occasions during which we came together with our uh, artists, both in the written media and uh, um, audiovisual media and printed press, we did our best in order to inform our people. We came together with our young people. We also uh, answered the questions of the young citizens. We also had occasions during which we came together with the international press and media members and shared with them our points of view. So we made use of every occasion to come together with our people and uh, shared our viewpoints. Everywhere we went, our citizens, our people uh, gave us an embrace, and they embraced us with affection. And you, in your regions, worked tremendously hard in your own districts and regions. I would like to extend my gratitude for the devoted and committed uh, efforts that you spent during this period. AKP, AK Party, with all its organizations, provincial organizations, as well as the uh, units working for women and young people, they also work tremendously hard day and night. Bütün In all different parts of the country, street by street, avenue by avenue, house by house, and shop by shop, we came together with our people, we shared our viewpoints, we lent an ear to them, we uh, tried our best in order to have a better understanding of them. All this work that was uh, performed with great commitment and devotion, I'd like to extend my gratitude to all my comrades and all my colleagues, our uh, members of the parliament, our ministers, our boards, and our representatives on the provincial level and city level and also uh uh, neighborhood level, all the employees and all the members of AK Party, I would like to once again wholeheartedly express my gratitude and thank each and every one of you. And with my um, 
I would like to express the fact that I am extremely proud of my comrades, of my colleagues. As we set forth in 2001, independent from all the titles, it is only membership to AK Party. This is uh, our identity, and I'd like to once again extend my gratitude to all my comrades. Thank you very much. During the referendum, our party uh, acted and played the leading role in this historical uh, period or on this historical uh, journey. We also collaborated with uh, political parties, starting with MHP, National Movement Party, starting with the president and all the members, and also uh, Hudapa and the uh, members of Hudapa, as well as National Unity Party. I also would like to thank all the members of these parties for the support that they provided. Well, of course, we prepared this reform jointly with MHP National Movement Party. We had meetings during the committee meetings, and we held uh, joint activity, and we held joint position with them. And this referendum, as we uh, directed ourselves towards the result of this referendum, we spent joint effort. As a result, we see the results, and uh, it is totally unnecessary to discuss who contributed to what extent to these results. Both Mr. Bahçeli, as Mr. Bahçeli mentioned at the uh, um, address that he delivered at the parliament, who said yes and who said no, this is nothing to be scrutinized. This is not an election. This is not uh, an election during which parties get votes. It is the election of people's future. And people of this country decided for their future themselves, and they said yes to this systemic change, and it's done. In the meantime, in the East, In the meantime, distinguished comrades, in the East and Southeast, we received tremendous support. And as we fight against terrorism, our unity, our wholeness uh, has once again been confirmed. It has been confirmed once again that we have unity. And I'd like to especially thank my colleagues in those uh, parts of the country. The biggest thank you goes to our founding uh, president and president of the Republic, Recep Tayyip Erdogan. We've been listening to Turkish Prime Minister Ben Ali Yildirim speak before the AK Party uh, in Parliament in Ankara. He says um, that he really wants to give the credit due to Turkey's what he calls mature democracy and the success of the April 16th vote, which he noted had an 85 uh, percent participation rate. rate uh, this marks a new beginning for Turkey, he says, and it offers a bright future for our democracy. Let's cross live now to Hassan Abdullah, who's been following that speech. Hi, Hassan. We, Ben Ali Yildirim actually said that while the results of the referendum must be accepted, he said, we are aware of the fact that we need to work even harder. What exactly did he mean by that? Well, Andrea, uh, what we've been witnessing throughout uh, these speeches that have been delivered by government officials after the referendum result, they have been emphasizing two things. One, they've been talking about unity, and second, they've been talking about the determination to work and not take the results for granted. Uh, what Prime Minister Bin Ali Yildirim here is saying is that uh, they have set targets. Uh, they've defined some mid-term and also short-term targets to be achieved before 2019 and also some targets for post-2019 
2019. And uh, he has instructed in other party meetings all the parliamentarians uh, from the AAK party and other officials that they must be working towards those goals. So that's what he's referring to. He's, of course, um, commended the 1,629,000 young voters who cast their ballots for the first time. And uh, he said that uh, Turkey has won and that there is no loser. He's also said that it's important that the politicians in the parliament look to the future. And uh, while at the same time he's mentioned that there are some segments who are trying to spread some rumours and are trying to cast doubt over the referendum, he's also said that everyone must respect the outcome of this referendum and the presidential system will benefit Turkey. But as he says that, Hassan, we know that the opposition party, Turkey's largest opposition party, the CHP, has announced it will formally seek an annulment of Sunday's referendum before the electoral board today. What happens once that uh, formal annulment request is made? Well, first of all, that request is going to go through the YSK, the ele Electoral Board. The Electoral Board is going to view the complaint that has been submitted. It's going to evaluate the case, and then it's going to make its decision. Now, depending on what that decision is, of course, they're going to go from there. But let's assume that the CHP is not convinced by what has been uh, the, the result from the uh, Electoral Board, then they have other options of approaching, for example, the Supreme Court in Turkey. Uh, the CHP officials have also said that they are also considering approaching the European Court of Human Rights if that is needed. But at the moment, it's all speculative, so let us see what the result is that comes out of their uh, appeal, and uh, obviously what happens will be determined uh, from that. Okay. Hassan, we will leave it there for now. Thanks so much for that, as always, live from Ankara.